Hello there, everybody. It's the Game Maker here, and this is episode seven of the of Holy Crap that we have here. It is a fresh new day, as you can see. I just I just got out of bed, and the sun is rising, and um, I, I'm actually feeling a bit fresh myself. I just got back from getting a haircut, and I, as I, as you know, or as you may or may not know, I usually have my hair pretty long, so got it cut pretty short this time. I usually do, but it's kind of it's always a little bit of an adjustment. So. Um, basically, this episode I kind of wanted to dedicate to walking around to the other polies and see what kind of progress they've made and, um, see what they're up to, really. And we just got to decide who to go to first. Now, we m probably want to take our horse to this because we want to travel around pretty quick. And my phone is still on. Isn't that always what I do? I either forgot to turn down the sound of the game or forget to silence my phone, which actually I thought I just did, but... We'll just see about this. I'm actually going to turn it down now, just so we don't have that going on for, well, for the rest of this episode. So... Okie doke. Alrighty, so, and I am on my horse. Yes, good. Brilliant. I like it. Okay. Walking. So, I think first we're going to check out um, Cameron's big block of a house right here. We actually have done something pretty interesting to his house <laughs> that we're going to have to discuss. So let me try and find a place to put my horse where he won't wander off too much. Maybe I can get him there. Okay, maybe I can get out without crushing crops. Good! Good. All right. You just stay in there, Mr. Horse. Don't know the name. All right. So this is Cameron's house, actually. He hasn't done too much with it. He wants to... Uh, decorate it up, but he can't actually get on the server too often, so he will just have to deal with what um, he can do. He should be getting on at least sometime pretty soon. Let's see. So resources. This looks like to be just some random. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is just run around everybody's houses and look like look into their chests and see what's been going on. He has a lot of potatoes. I don't know if you saw his potato farm out here, but dang, how many how many potatoes does one man need? I guess he just wanted to have a lot of potatoes, so. He decided that he just wanted to mass produce him just because he can, which is good. It's nice to see him uh, think more big on things like this. Because he usually doesn't. He usually does the bare minimum on like what he may, needs to do to survive. But it's really cool to see him um, try and think bigger and have bigger projects and more extravagant and um, more show-offy type things, which he usually doesn't do. So it's it's really cool to see him try and do stuff like this. So it has as far as resources go. Um, I know he wasted a bunch of diamonds Lately, I think he made some diamond armor. Not, whoa, I'm getting some hiccups here. Not quite sure. This is enchanting room. It looks like, and because we got so many freaking books from the stronghold, um, he decided that he was just gonna go completely overboard with the enchanting room and put bookcases everywhere. So, he, as you can see, he has definitely done that. And uh, if we put my iron shovel, we can get those level 30 enchants. Hey, look, I get efficiency on my shovel. Isn't that awesome? My almost, my almost dead, my 26 out of 250 um, things. So, one thing that we have to do, though, I have to tell you guys about, it's probably, it's, pre it's a pretty interesting story, is that I have to break these first, though, because um, that's part of it. So, as you can see in this chest, there are a lot of books. We got a lot of books from that stronghold. Two double-decker libraries we, um, we completely just destroyed from that thing. So Cameron decided, since he found the stronghold, he got to keep all the books, which the rest of the pulleys aren't exactly agreeing on because, uh, well, at least not me uh, and any of the pulleys who know that he has all these books because some most of the people don't. So um, he decided he wanted to keep all the books, but he actually wanted to sell them for really high prices. I think it was somewhere around 12 diamonds a bundle, which everybody was a bit of, like appalled. <laughs> about trying to buy books for that price. So me and Ethan, um, we decided that we were going to liberate the books from Cameron so that all the pulleys may have full enchanting rooms. We were, we, we were going to look at how many books it, uh, it took to build an enchanting room. I'm talking so fast that I'm chirping over my words. Uh, we we're going to see how many books it, take to, it would take to make an enchanting room. Actually, I can figure that right now because it's 15 bookcases, three books a bookcase, so that's just in my head 45 books so then we could just uh, give everybody about 45 books and then give the rest back to Cameron so then he can sell them for enchanting purposes that was the original plan but Cameron didn't quite like that so he just so um, 
Me and Ethan came over to his house to liberate the books. But we were looking around. We were checking in this chest, checking in that chest, looking here, looking there, and we could not find the books. We were like, where did Cameron put these books? So I remember seeing... Um, I'll get to what Will's talking about in a minute down there, Slayer Will. Um, so I remember him putting something in a wall somewhere. So if we look over here, as you can see, I broke out the wall. He has a treasure chest right there. So when me and Ethan found this, we're like, "What? What? Like, is he's he's hiding the books?" Which we actually, we we both of us thought that that was just hilarious. Like they were so important that he just needed to hide to make sure we couldn't get them or something like that. I'm not quite sure. So we have this joke with him that we nickname him Carmen, right? So whenever things like bad or stupid things happen or um, it's just like something dumb, we're just like, Carmen, please, you know. So <laughs> we put the treasure chest out there with the books. We actually took some. We haven't taken the rest of them yet to distribute to the pulleys. But so we just put the sign here that says, Carmen, please. We haven't seen his reaction yet because, like I said, he, he isn't able to come on very often. In fact, the only time he's able to get on it is at my house right here. Uh, because he doesn't actually own a computer of his own quite yet. Um, he's actually really close to being able to get a laptop for himself, so then he can play Polycraft all the days through. So we thought this was actually very funny. Um, so when next time he gets on, he'll be sitting right next to me. And he'll be like, oh, who did this? And we'd be like, I don't know. I don't know who took all your books and stuff like that. I mean, of course, we're going to tell him. Um, but we're going to try and play it as cool as possible. And since we're going to keep this all in one big recording thing right here because these houses are actually all really close to each other. It's the further houses that require a lot of journeying to win a... I'm going to do the jump cuts. So... Let's see. This is Zach's house here. Pets a man. He's not on too often, but when he is, he's able to make some progress. He's not too ahead, mostly because I think it's his younger brother that plays it a lot, who's about 10 or 12... I'm not quite sure. Um, if we take a look in his chest, I think all he really has is in here. He's not on too often, so we can't really uh, scale up. At least he started a mine, which was actually kind of nice. Um, it's cool to see him do that. So, Yeah, and he did get a horse saddle, diamond armor. Uh, not diamond armor, iron armor. And, hey, and there's Will. What's up, Will? Passing straight through. Oh, I say he's, I was like, what's the effect that's going on? But it looks like it's hunger because he's eating rotten flesh. Some chicken, hobo. Go get some chicken. And our horse is on the roof. So... We jump up here, yes! <laughs> like, I was so skilled. So now we're going to go up there to Sam's house. And I don't know if you know, but Sam is the guy on our server that's died about 20 times now. No, not 20, 50 times. Sorry, I got my numbers a little bit mixed up. Um, next time he's on, I'll have to, I'll have to show his death count. But it, I understand that uh, I've discovered that's not entirely his fault. His computer lags out quite a bit. So um, I'm going to get up there to his base. It's kind of high and hard to get to. And uh, we'll check out what he has. Now that we've made our way up here, we can take a look at Sam's base. It actually starts right here. It's kind of an odd-looking thing so far. So maybe if I can get some sort of a side view, you can kind of see a little bit. But let's head inside and see what he has. He's kind of been expanding it like the way it like forms to the mountain and stuff. Right here he has a real really cool slime block um, elevator thing. As you see I press the button that opens up, we get launched up and then it pushes us back out. I helped him a little bit with that um, because some of the timing was a bit off because you know servers. So up here is where his brewing station is and um, we'll see what he has. Potion of strength, potion of strength. He really wants those potions of strength. I'm not sure why. Um, but he has the basic stuff, basically, as much as I have. He actually has um, two gas tiers, which I haven't been able to get. Or I don't think I've actually fought any gas. I fought a few. We jump down here into the water, which really isn't that necessary because it's like a five-block drop. But, you know, whatever. And this looks like to be just some sort of random stuff chest that he just, like, has but doesn't really need or doesn't really know where to put. And I do like these pressure plate, this pressure plate of like having the pressure plates on the inside, but then not on the outside, so mobs can't get in. So you kind of open the door and then just kind of run. And he has an ender chest, but as you can see, uh, that's what I love about ender chest is that no matter who puts it down, it's linked up to your stuff. So I open this ender chest and I see what's in the one back at home, and that's the wither skeleton skull. But if like Sam were to open it up, he'd get something totally different. And I also think that's really cool. So he's got some gold swords, so either he's been using the gold farm 
or the EXP farm up in the nether, or he's just been killing a lot of pigmen for fun. This seems to be his stone and other stuff chest. I know this is his more his ores. I don't know where all of his diamonds are. He usually keeps them around. Um, but he has just a bunch of, this looks like to be more of the special stuff, which he has some golden swords in here, so I don't know why they're split up, but... Um, oh, he has a ladder. This is new, actually. This is new. I gotta see this. Um, oh, so this is like a fancy room. He's got some enchanted gold armor. Enchant I know he had this place up here. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't I didn't know that this did that. This is actually kind of fancy. I really enjoy this. So this seems to be more of his armor room. Um, I bet this is going to be a, more of a place where he keeps valuables. This guy has lost his pants. All right, cool. So it looks like he's just been gathering up the armor, kind of like we have um in our special room if we come back here we can see that he has a horse a diamond horse a diamond horse yes a full diamond horse horse with diamond armor that he has um, i'm not sure how he is going to get it off on and off the mountain though because if he tries to go through here he'll get hurt and stuff like that but you know he'll figure it out he's his base is a little scattered at the moment but it'll uh click into place in a bit and you better not be messing with my horse zombies um, yeah, Will is, like, building, like, a secret base that he doesn't want me to know about, so, I mean, like, he says if I find it, then I can come in, but he says I won't find it, which I will find it, <laughs> hear you me, Will, this will probably, this video will come out probably a week after I've already found your base, but this is, this is my promise, that I will find your base <laughs> before anyone else does, actually, Andrew might have already. Um, now that we're over here on this area, we're going to follow this bridge all the way to Jacob's house. Um, we can actually just take that right over here. Horses are powerful things, and there's Spencer's house right up there. So I did want to try and chop up this video a bit more, but there really hasn't been a reason to as of yet. Maybe I can uh, stick my horse over here. Yeah, this looks good. Hopefully it doesn't go too far. All right, so I know Jacob... I've been doing a bit of work around his house, organizing his chest. This looks to be food. He's very organized. This is redstone. I might have to liberate him of this sometime in the future. Take all the rest of those. Oh my goodness! Look how much iron he has! Look at how that... That is a crazy amount of iron! Like, holy crap! I did not know he had so much iron. He also has a full suit of iron that he's not wearing. He's wearing a separate suit of iron on top of that. How did he get so much iron? Did someone give it to him? Did he just mine a lot on his own? Wow. I And then the coal. That's... Wow. I did not know he had so much stuff. I guess if I actually mined coal, I'd had enough. But that's a lot of iron. I'm actually really impressed with that. This seems to be random stuff. Um, stone. And cheers. And more stone and gold armor. So you, And more redstone. And more redstone. Yay! So... Oh, yeah. So this is uh, a project that I built for him. It's uh, just a simple redstone uh, slime block launcher, but it has a bit of a delay on it, and there's a certain way to make it do that, but it waits a second to let you get up here, and then you can jump up here. And this is his, um, just kind of his room, which is where he sleeps right here. It's really nice. And then he has his uh, enchantment room. So one thing with armor stands it looks like is that everybody's just going to put armor stands and collect all the different armor and display them around um, put them in their special rooms. That seems to be the theme. I think that's actually kind of cool if all the polies did that, where they just had uh, all the suits of armor just set up and ready to go. Sitting there. And he actually is one of the three people right now that has a full enchanting room. Like a full level enchanting table. As I put my iron shovel in here, I can get efficiency four. Awesome. I think um, that will stay just for that shovel as long as I put it in any enchantment table. I think. Not quite sure on that. <laughs> I gotta read more up on the new enchanting. Um, but the only three people that have full enchanting tables are me, Jacob, and then Cameron because he has all those stinking books. There are a few people that are actually really close, and that's why I want to try and get the books to them so they can finish their enchanting tables and get right with it. So this is kind of cool. You can just kind of jump down, jump a little bit, and then just jump, not, um, and not really take any damage, or anything like that. So it's kind of cool. And now if we get our horse, which is snuck around over here. Oh, he hasn't gone far. All right. So we take him. And we don't go this way because that's blocked off. Um, but as you can see, his house is very decorated, um, very themed, and it looks very nice. Um, so that's why I wanted his help to try and decorate some of our base 
because I mean I'm all right at decorating and but I'm very limited so if we just ride straight up here to Spencer's base what does this say what does this say Autumn Taurus Vitae he has that all over the place um on his house so I'm pretty sure it means something like the road to home or something I remember something like that but then again I haven't actually looked that up so this is his base um Spencer he's been <laughs> I don't really know what he's been doing but if you can see on the mini map he keeps branching off like all these crazy towers he has this nice fountain here he started out with like a normal house but he's like turning it into like a stone what is this what is, what is this what is, I but one thing I love about Spencer's house is that it's such a labyrinth there's just so many different oh let me get up there so many different like pathways and things okay so this leads to here which leads to up here which okay more 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 oh I've been I've been in this spot before okay oh so food and travel okay yeah he's taking a lot of cooked chicken stuff like that all right all right all right I guess the and travel part came from the one saddle that's in there um, dirt and stone hey look he's putting glowstone with this I th to me glowstone's a bit more special tower lookout oh look we can see the corner of our base we can see one little ball and like the top if I like move it we can see it brighter that's weird um, where to go? Where to go? Is this this is the one separate tower? Oh, goodness. Okay, so I guess this is his main tower that we walk up and we take a look at, and we see. Okay, I remember being up here and seeing this before. This is really this is really nice. Yeah, it looks really good from far away. He's really dealing with the stained glass and making it look really good, um, which I think is really cool. But I love how you can just see this huge view, like this big bridge, and our horse is ready to just commit suicide and jump off, I can see, into the lava. Don't do that, horse. I really like you, even though you did suffocate me into the ceiling. But I'm willing to overlook it, you know. But I love this mountain structure right here, because it's we're, we live right next to it. As you can see, like you can see the nether portal and everything just in the little corner there in the top left. Uh, so it's really cool how we can see everything from here. I wish it showed the rest of my base, though. If I turned my render distance up, it would. But this this whole structure looks really cool. Um, so it's really cool to see this. And I, I like how he has it, it. You're able to just come up on top of the roof of this place and really look around. And if we move over here, we can see this huge bridge that Jacob has constructed in the top of his base. And his is going to build up. Maybe. He might actually just leave it open like that. I'm not quite sure what he plans on doing. But I love seeing these huge mountains. This shows that, though. I think this... This is a big plains biome that I've concluded just with all the the grass and everything that's around and the color of it. It's a plains biome. So we got to put our mind somewhere that um, is technically an extreme hills biome, even though all of it's an extreme hills biome now when it comes to amplified. But um, I want to start getting those emeralds because we have no emeralds. And if we're planning on making a village or trading center, then we're going to need some emeralds. Oh, heavens. Okay. Ugh. So if we just jump down here. Actually, wait. Feather falling. Go half a heart that was lame I've jumped off higher and taken less damage it's like that sometimes though so we just just come down like all these different layers he's gonna fill this all up with really cool stuff it's all just a matter of time this is all very early stages of uh, buildings and stuff like that so he has another tower over here that goes up and just up like that he has a tower over here that just goes up on top to in there I'm not gonna spend too much time and then we can come down here there's like a block missing that's hmm he might be doing something with them. This is like his bed, his chest with some more cooked chicken. This is like was his original house, but then he decided to go with the whole castle theme and go more with the towers. And it's cool, you can see how like his dye. Pink dye, what is he gonna what's he gonna do with pink dye? <laughs> so many questions are in my head. And if we continue down here, we actually see he has a nice bunny farm going, and then this leads all the way down to his mine, which is actually really cool. I wanna show this to you. Because it is a really fancy looking mine, like <laughs> I actually want our mind to look something like this when we're done with this. So we got to come down all these staircases. And I'm actually going to get to you when I get down there. So this is it. This is Spencer's mine. It's really huge. But I love this whole double layer thing. I think I want to try something like it. Um, and he's just like, it looks so cool. He's actually got triple layer right here. He mined down into a triple layer. This is crazy. And he just mines out and completely just destroys all of the mines in sight. Now he does have like an ecosystem thing as you can see on my mini map there's like all the strip mines that go back and forth here you can see how huge this place really is and he has this mine cart what is this for like i'm gonna ride this and see where it takes me 
Does it just take us down to the end or something like that? Or does he plan on going further? I just love like just the the officialness. It just this place just looks really cool and I like him down here. Oh he has stuff over there, okay. So we get out and we uh see we come back here. He has a nether portal down here. What? Look at this! Oh, look at all this stuff! This is ridiculous! Wow! I am very impressed with this. Like, he's just got like this fire room. What, like, what, what happens in here? It's just here. And he has like this huge thing. He's just got this wheat and carrots. Oh, this is where he keeps the special stuff. Look at that! His full diamond armor he likes to wear around. Um, ender pearls, all this redstone, a music disc. Sheesh. This is a really cool place. Like, it's not even that decorated and fancy, but just where it is, the concept of it all. How is he even getting trees growing down here? They need, like, sky access. I'm confused. And there's a crepper. Crepper, I'ma kill you. I'ma kill you, crepper. Alright, so this mine obviously was made, I think, by Jacob. Uh, because... Spencer doesn't mine the same way me and my younger brother do, so... And Ethan mines the same way. And Cameron mines the same way. We all watched, uh, Zazuma Void's Mining for Diamonds video, and now we all watch it. <laughs> and I should put a link to that in the description below now, because it's actually a really good video. Very informative. No, I want to go the other way! I want No! Ah, I love looking at this place, though. Next up in our houses to go look at, though, however, is, um, Ethan's. He lives pretty far away in a swamp biome. Um, we may we saw his base a little bit before, but we really didn't go too much into detail. So um, let's get right to that. This is <coughs> this is Ethan's base. Um, it is a bit long, as you can see on the mini map down there. You can see that big block with the like the half cut out of it. That's 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 Cameron's base. I think I'll just refer to him as Carmen from now on. Um, how that mine? Oh, I thought that minecart was in the water. I was like, "What? How did it do that?" Like, it was so amazing. Oh well, okay. Um, my our horse is in here. Don't know the name for him yet. We will name you at some point. This is Ethan's big block of a base. Like, he's just making it just a huge block that's just gonna be there. It's like a huge skyscraper. Um, down here, this first level is more of like a homey type place. Rooms, archways, as you can see. I'm trying to find the room that has all of his stuff. Um, well, this is, he's got a bath, <laughs> and, um, this thing, whatever it, that does, huh, it's interesting, okay, and we went that way already, he has his stuff somewhere, this part is, all, this like, this little part of his house is always a maze, we came in through that way, where's the freaking stuff, there's his stuff, Wow, okay. So he's got like some cobblestone, random wood stuff. He doesn't keep too much around here. He's got like some lappies and stuff. Where is he keeping all of his stuff? Okay, so he's got like four bundles of iron. We're, we must be really low on iron. Because, well, we haven't really mined in a long time. Uh, that's a lot of redstone. I'm not as much though. I feel like his resources aren't actually in this room. Like, he keeps some of it down here, but he really doesn't keep it in here is what I'm like that's what kind of vibe I'm getting so we're just gonna head up to the other levels so there's a staircase that leads up over here this stone part so this is actually what what he's planning on doing with his house is that each level is like a different kind of puzzle or mini game or like really cool theme so this lead theme is a parkour he didn't want to make it too hard because he wanted to make other parkour levels at some point this thing is difficult though yes I'm the best at minecraft Alright, and then we come up here, and he's just making this entire level out of glass. Not sure what he's going to do with it. So, we'll, we'll just really have to see when it's done. These are very work in progressy. Let's see if we can do it again. You're, no! Ah! That's okay. We are going down anyways. Um, squeeze. Alright. No, so that's his base so far. I, I, I still feel like his resources are somewhere else. Not quite sure, however. It's just a diamond sword in here. He just has random stuff everywhere. Um, and now, I don't think this is a place I can actually take my horse, but to Andrew's base. He lives further north, that direction from here. I did make lily pad paths to try and make it so we can do it. So as long as the water's one deep, we can head over there. But I'll just jump right over to where um, I'm standing at his front door. 
this is Andrew's base, at least the first little, like, resource holding part. Basically, to him, this was, like, um, my birch hut. So, this is kind of just where he's keeping resources, cooking things, and whatnot. So, um, okay. I'm, I'm like, trying to read the chat when something comes up. I'm like, ooh, a message. So, this one's empty. This one has a decent amount of just random materials. This one has more most of his resources. He just kind of has them spread out. Um, he has quite a bit of diamonds, actually, for just starting playing, like, a few days ago. He started, um... Just uh, gathering a lot of resources, so. And then, let me just jump down here, because what, I'm actually going to go to where he's actually carving out the area for his actual base. So, we're going to run over here. This is actually a ravine that we covered in cobblestone and regular stone, so that we can just jump across here like I am doing so. So, huh, this uh, redstone block marks the first edge of his base. And if we run across... Jump. Nope, I failed to jump. Um, and right here. Wow, this is a big spread out part. And I'm, uh... Whew, he's really been working. There's another one. So this is the middle of his base. Oh, wow, server's getting pretty, uh, pretty packed now. So if I run over to here, we can, uh, see the, this other side of the redstone block. Basically, what he's mining out is an 81 by 81 by 81 huge square chunk of pure stone or andesite, granite, and diorite, and dirt, and gravel, and all that good stuff. He's going to mine out an 81 by 81 by 81 block. We did the math, and it's somewhere around 500,000 blocks worth of things he has to mine. Um, so... We did a lot of calculations. Um, we were looking at like how many chunks that was, and uh, things like that. So he has a lot of work ahead of him. So <laughs> as you can see, he's actually doing a pretty good job. But he's finding he told me he's finding a lot of resources on the way too. So this is a great opportunity for him to get resources. Basically, what he's doing is making an 81 um, a sphere, a huge sphere that's 81 blocks in diameter. And um, what he's planning on doing in there is just ridiculous. He's, I don't even know. I know he's going to build like a city in there. And we're all going to have different houses inside of his city in the sphere. And I think he's going to make the whole thing out of diorite and um, I think andesite. He's wanting to go for that white and gray look. So diorite's been pretty popular as far as base building material on the server so far. And when I say very popular, I mean Andrew and uh, me. So, <laughs> yes. Hmm, da, da 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 Okay. Creeper, I don't... Just, just no, my friend. Just no! Zombie. This place is always pretty terrible when it comes to being at night. A swamp. But we get a lot of slimes this way, so... Uh, that's a huge project that we're gonna... That's gonna take a lot of time to try and finish. And, um... So, uh, I'm trying to tell all the... Like, we're trying to spread the word. But... To all the other pulleys to just go mine out a bunch of chunks. So that's where we'll that's where we will be mining for the next little while. Just trying to help him clear out that whole area. I actually don't know where he is. He wasn't in his house doing anything, so he might be at spawn trying to do something. So And I believe that's all of the pulleys bases. All the ones that have been able to get on so far. We still have about five that are waiting to get their computers all ready and Minecraft. Um <sighs> all purchased and whatnot so we're just kinda waiting for them most of us are on already um, so it'd be really cool to see everybody on and then pretty soon we're gonna try and go to the end and fight that dragon and get those and just get that enderman exp farm going hopefully that works better than our exp farm because sometimes the exp farm works very well and sometimes there's like nothing spawning in it so it's completely worthless it's a weird kind of um, weird kind of trade-off, so it's kind of a, if you happen to be there at the right time. Okay, so you had full diamond armor, and you give me one arrow. How nice. Um, so when other pulleys gone. Now, the only person's base I need to show is Will's, but we don't know where it is quite yet, so I'm going to look for that, and maybe I'll get back to you as soon as I finish it, as soon as I finish looking for it, and be like, hey, I found Will's base, his secret project. He was... He, 
I've talked to him like at school and such. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, nah, it's secret. So, um, this I I think going around all the bases has taken up um, that amount of, of like pretty much this entire episode. It is gonna be kind of a shorter one, uh, just because it's gonna be just a kind of shortish. No, no, up all the way, uh, showcasing type thing. But it is really cool, I think, uh, to be able to go and find the rest of the like take a look at the rest of the pulleys and how they're doing and what's going on so I think it's really cool and I think Will's in our house using the enchantment table what's up um let's see so thank you so much for watching this somewhat shorter episode of pulley craft uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe because it's because it helps me out and it's a pretty nice thing to do so and I'm just putting torches in random spots um, and so, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.